Hi guys, I'm Tom from Unibike, and I'm going to show you some of our new motherboard lineups that we just launched here at Computex 2013. So if you notice here, on this side we have all of our green motherboards. These are our G1 Killer motherboards. These are all of our gaming boards. This one here is a Sniper M5. Our Sniper 5, I should say. This one does four-way crossfire and SLI with a PLX chip on board. Um, so four-way graphics. We've got a beefy heatsink that has a, a water block and a fan as well. And one of the standout features on this motherboard is we're actually promoting a new feature that's never been seen before on the motherboard, and that's uh, OP amp socket on board. So this is a socketed solution that you can change different amplifiers. Each of our gaming boards comes with two different amplifiers and an extractor kit. Um, so you remove one, put a new one in, and it changes the sound properties. Um, different amps have different sound characteristics. Um, we're still using the Creative Sound Core 3D. Uh, we also have a separation in the PCB layers to separate the analog from the digital side of the motherboard. And when this board is turned on, it actually lights up so you can see the separation. So we definitely have a very advanced high-end audio on this motherboard. I'll show you the back connectivity here. We've also plated all the jacks with gold. Um, this helps prevent corrosion for the, the jacks. So this is our full-featured Sniper M5 motherboard, or Sniper 5. And then we also have our Micro ATX uh, Sniper M5. So it has the same audio features that we had before. It does two-way crossfire and SLI. Um, but this is a nice small form factor, maybe if you want to do LAN gaming system. And some other ones down below here, we have the uh, Sniper B5. This one is Intel's B85 platform, which is their small business platform. So a lot of people ask, why are you guys doing a gaming board on a small business platform? Well, in China, there's a lot of gaming cafes, so they want to be able to manage their PC using Intel's small business advantage. Um, so we've created this board for them. It's also got the OPM socket, the separation as well. So this is going to be a very affordable gaming motherboard. And we also are launching an FM2 AMD motherboard this time around. Um, this is the G1 Sniper A85X, um, and it's still using the same audio that we had before, but of course this one supports FM2 and uh, AMD's new Richland CPUs. And then up here I want to show you some of our new gaming motherboards. Um, this one is our OC Force motherboard. This one is definitely designed by our in-house overclocker High Cookie. As you notice it's got the water block and the fan. It's also got the PLX chip so it does do four-way crossfire, four-way SLI. A lot of connectivity support on board as well. And we have a lot of overclocking features that High Cookie designed specifically for the OC series. Now, these are hardware on the fly overclocking buttons. You can change your ratio up and down, B clock up and down, voltage read points. Um, and there's a couple of unique things that Cookie has designed. I'll show you this board here. This is our Z87X OC motherboard. This is going to be our affordable OC board. Um, basically, Cookie has looked at this from the ground up and put a lot of unique features on this board. He's got all of his overclocking buttons here. There's direct to BIOS. You press a button and it'll go directly to BIOS um, without having to press delete. There's a trigger switch that can drop your frequency quickly. Um, we also have OC Connect, these two USB ports in the front so that you don't have to reach all the way around to um, plug in your USB thumb drives. And also this one does this one does not have a PLX because we were worried about latency. So uh, this does four-way crossfire and three-way SLI, but slightly better performance without the latency of the PLX shot. So we have that, and then we also have our full range of other motherboards. We've got a, a UD7TH motherboard up here. This one does support dual port Thunderbolt, um, but this one is definitely, I'll show you here. You can see the dual ports. Yeah. And this was very similar in design to our OC Force motherboard, but this one has Thunderbolt and for a slightly different market. And the rest of our product lineup, um, we still have many more Z87 throughout our range, our UD3H, D3HP. 
And actually, anything D3H and above is using IR's power stages. So we're using very efficient um, power stages to deliver power to the CPU this time around. That was a high-end feature that we had last generation, and now we've moved it down to the mainstream boards. And we have a ton of other boards. We have B85 boards for small business. Um, we have a micro ATX D85 board. We also have a um, mini ITX D87N Wi-Fi, and there's also an H87N Wi-Fi. Um, this one has onboard a wireless module so it, and Bluetooth, so it does do Intel um, Wi-Di, wireless display technology. Um, some other features, it's got dual LAN, so you can do teaming with that. You can use it as a NAS server, um, a small little nice form factor motherboard for the 8 series. And then one other highlight I want to show you on the AMD side, we have this new mini ITX motherboard. This guy, uh, we're using power stages from IR, so you can actually do some overclocking on this little board. It also comes standard with a Wi-Fi module that will be able to do AMD's AWD, which is their wireless display technology. Um, so this one we've just launched, so it's perfect timing for AMD's new uh, Richland CPU. This is FM2 socket, of course. So that's basically our 8 series motherboards. These, we're launching over 40 motherboards here at Computex. Um, so we have a full range, any sort of features, price performance that you're looking for, we basically have it.